Now well, let's put our hands together for the one lady really uh, trying to make it in a, a man infested uh, career. Uh, so let's put our hands together for Nakuru County Government Speaker Susan Kihika. Speaker, what we do, All right, how are you, Karibu Sana? Walk up. You're looking amazing. Wow, what do you say? Karibu, walk up. All right. All right, all right. How are you? How are you doing? Very you're, well. You're too racy, Sana. But uh, what do you think about your people in Nakuru? Have you seen all these people? Oh, wow, it's just amazing. Hey. Welcome to Nakuru. Asante, Sana. First of all, what makes you look this young? Oh, <laughs> thank you, thank you for that uh, question. Yeah. I don't know, maybe just the genes, the, the genes. DNA. You wish kwa kwa mama, mama, kwa father. Naona kama ni upande wa baba. Kwa baba. Your dad. You picked a lot from your dad. I think so. Now, second question, dealing with men. How is it working and uh, uh, being in charge of so many men? And you know, kudil na politicians ni ngubu sana. It's actually working okay now. Right. But it wasn't always okay, and that's the truth. Right. Because uh, politics is a very male-dominated field. But as women, we also must find our space. So initially, there were a few issues. Initially, I guess, maybe I, was, I seemed a little young or a woman or whatever. Mm -hmm. So maybe I wasn't as fitting to some people for the position. Right. But over time, I think when you work hard, then they come to see that you can lead and they accept you and I guess things get better. Great. Mm -hmm. Do you see a point whereby Skumoja tutakuwa na a woman president, a lady leading us? Do I would hope so. Yeah. I would hope so. I would absolutely hope so. And uh, just looking at the way things are going, I think in time we shall. Right. Uh, because at some point in time, you didn't find a lot of elected women. Right. But now we are slowly getting there. The constitution is helping because it's also giving us a foot up a little bit. Right. And I think it's a matter of time, but we are going to get there. Great. Right. Mm. You studied a lot abroad. Yes. Was that a plus? Do you feel at some point we should all go abroad, Ama? You thank God you went there. Uh, I think it's a plus in yeah. the sense of um, having been able to be exposed but at the same time, I don't believe that we must all go there for us to get and gain that experience. We Excellent. can get it here too. Excellent. Yeah. Final thing before you encourage the ladies out there. Mm -hmm. Tell me something about your dad. Oh, my dad was a great man. Yeah. A great father, of course. A great and wonderful leader. Courageous. Who did a lot for Nakuru. For the Rift Valley, for his people right. as well. And for Kenya. Was he your mo role model? Yes, absolutely. And uh, he started taking me to campaign meetings right. when I was very young. All right, finally. <laughs> All right, so encourage. I want you to look at this camera. Uh -huh. I want you to encourage the ladies watching you this, uh -huh. uh, this, this evening. Yes. Then we can finish. Okay, for the ladies, I think we must and should believe in ourselves. I want to look at you ladies and tell you, I think, I know we can do it. We just need to work hard, believe in ourselves, trust in God, and it shall be well. Amen. God bless you. And we thank you so much for making thank it so to much. the show. Thank you so May much. And God bless you thank so you. much. Thank, thank you. you very much. Let's appreciate Susan Geheka, our speaker for tonight. Madam Speaker, sir.